Howdy folks, welcome to another episode of Super Hamster Plays and today Super Hamster Plays Kingdom Death Monster. As ever do me a favour, hit the thumbs up button on this video and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the hamster down here so you don't miss any future videos and it'll help me take over YouTube one subscriber at a time. In the last video um, we took on another antelope. Actually, in the last video, we did some miniature assembly. Um, in the last video or two, you'd have seen me assembling this great brute, which, as you can see, I've now sprayed brown, but I haven't painted yet. Um, and you may or may not have seen me assembling the hand who is coming up pretty soon in our campaign. Um, I'm not sure what order things have been played in, but he's there or thereabouts. Um, but we're going off hunting. And in the last settlement phase, uh, we had a feather flutter down and every couple of people went mad and stuff happened and blah, blah, blah. But we can now hunt the phoenix. And I thought, why not hunt a phoenix? So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we have Rick, formerly known as Bobby. We have Mirian, formerly known as Mithrax. We have Fiona and we have Astrid, uh, respectively carrying full leather armor, axe and shield, uh, full rawhide armor with the king's spear, full rawhide, heart, rawhide armor with the bow, and full lion armor with the katars. Yeah, uh, I've already calculated their armor. We've got threes across the board, twos across the board, twos across the board, and fives across the board for a full set of leather, which gives you three in each location. The Having the full set gives you a fourth, and having the shield gives you another plus one, so it's five, which is huge, considering in all of our other games we've been playing with ones, twos, and the occasional zeros, and in the case of one person, the full suit of armour, getting threes, but five? That's kind of insane. We might need to make some more shields. Anyway, um, I'm just being lazy today, so each of these blank spaces is filled with one of the event cards, which we know are all just roll on the random event table. Um, yep, I've added people's uh, survival. So we've got a full five, five, four, and two. These guys should gain one from the harp once we get to the fight. Um, bring uh, insanity points of four, so insane, insanity one, insanity nine, very insane, insanity five, also insane. Just noticed I haven't filled in that box. But there you go. Um, We've also started to get some nice synergy bonuses. So we've got the the luck bonus. Uh, we have the monster grease normally gives us plus one evasion, but because of one, two, three green affinities, we've got the full plus two. Um, what else we've we got? The leather boot with the adjoining green affinities means uh, Rick gets an extra point of movement at the end of his turn. Um, he doesn't have enough red affinities to get the full bonus from the necklace, but there you go. Uh, we've got the evasion and the evasion, as we've had before. And over this side, we have two red affinities, giving us plus one movement and not enough to get the second evasion. But there you go. So, uh, yeah, let's get cracking. I will read you the the phoenix encounter dun, 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 dun. there's the weird phoenix pustule old man multi-eyed multi-hand sphincter wielding weird bird thing anyway level one phoenix just put that out there i'm insane i'm not stupid Right. The phoenix fills the horizon of your mind, complex and disturbing. Your very essence seems to flicker like the dying lantern. A perfect mix of excitement and dread shakes up your insides. Before you, you realise it, you find yourself stepping forward to battle. Dun, 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 dun. Nate, 
Uh, let's get cracking with our hunt. Let's go with Bobby strolling first, and we're going to need some dice and some random events. So, hello, random events. As ever, the white die will be our tens, and the black die will be our units. 29. The Dark Blacksmith. The survivors cross paths with a tall, unnaturally thin man in a hooded robe. Where his feet strike the ground, sparks illuminate his path. Each survivor with three plus courage may give him one piece of gear from their gear grid and roll on the table. If they have the Honourable Disorder, gain plus three to the roll. So does anyone have three courage? No. Myth does, or oh, Mirian. Um, Fiona does. Do I want to give up their gear? What could possibly happen? Hmm. So we. A one or a two is just, we lose it. A three to six, we lose it. No, you don't lose it, but you do suffer a lot of brain damage. Uh, seven or eight. You'd gain a steel shield in exchange for the gear, and on a nine, you'd gain a steel sword. Hmm. Let's give it a go. What have we got that we can afford to lose? We could lose our lucky chart because they're pretty easy to replace. But that does lose us the plus one luck for this battle. Hmm. Or we could get rid of... There's no restrictions, it's just a piece of gear. Yeah. We could get rid of the dry canthus. But I kind of like that. We could get rid of the cat eye circlet. And then we'd have to go and hunt a cat to get one of those back. Which we could do. It's not the end of the world. I'm going to get rid of the lucky charm because they're pretty easy to make. So we'll give that a try. So Fiona is going to attempt to give away her lucky charm. Seven. The creature unhinges its jaw, eats the piece of gear. In return, it hands you a shining shield. Gain the steel shield. Item. Hmm. Where are my items? Hello. Are you my items? You must be my items. Ugh. And it's rare gear, isn't it? Did it say rare? Yes. Rare gear. Ooh, nice gauntlets. Uh, shield, 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 shield. Adventurous sword. Steel shield. Irreplaceable. Minus three movement. Irreplaceable. Minus three movement. Spend one action or survival to ignore a hit. Meh. Really slows it down, though. Right, so back to our gear. We need to cross off our lucky charm. It's gone. And rare gear. Rare, rare, rare. Um, crafted leather weapon, leather prison, plumery blacksmith, silk lion, 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 dragon. Rare. Here we go. Uh, steel shield. One. Next event. Oh, 
Now, before I do that, uh, our, her movement is now two, and she loses a point of luck. Right, next event. 54, 54, oh, they're moving up. No, uh, next event isn't, it's one of the uh, the Phoenix events. So what have we got? Glimpse, a massive shadow passes over the survivors. They turn their gaze up in time to catch a glimpse of the indecipherable shape of the Phoenix disappearing into the darkness. The event revealer, which in this case would have been Myth, uh, rolls a d10. Ten. Time slips. All survivors suffer two brain event damage and gain one level of hunt XP. Hmm. So, we'll drop to two and no longer insane. You'll drop to zero and we've got brain trauma to work out. You'll drop to seven, still insane, and you'll drop to the three. Uh, and everyone gains some hunt XP. So one, two, three. Uh, where are we? Brain trauma. Uh, does age kick in now? Is that the one where you roll depending on when? Uh, no, it isn't. Okay, so we just want uh, brain trauma, which is there next to the picture of the penis. Uh, Miriam, what's going on with your world? Six. Danger Caesar, you thrash wildly, dealing one damage to yourself and every adjacent survivor. Gain a random disorder and D5 insanity. Take one damage to yourself in ev and every adjacent location. Okay, so he is hurt in the foot. So his legs will drop to one. Um, because this is a hunt, there is nobody adjacent because they're not next to each other on the board. So that's fine. Uh, so he gains a random disorder and gains d5 insanity. He gains one point of insanity back. And a random disorder. If I wear a disorder. Hollow disorders. Hmm. What have we got? Weak spot. You have an imaginary affirmity. When you depart this, when you gain this disorder, roll a random hit location and record it. Foot. The thing he does hurt. Uh, roll a random hit location, record it. You cannot depart unless you have armor on this hit location. So, where are we? Disorder. Weak spot. Foot. And that was that one, wasn't it? Oh, that will move up. And it will now be Fiona that moves on. Sixty-two. The wrong way. Sixty-two. Sixty-two. Space between the rocks. The survivors are distracted by a dark crack in the endless sea of stone faces. If any survivor has a pickup, they don't. They strike the ground, causing the crack to expand. Blah 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 blah. Otherwise, each uh, survivor produces a bracelet twist and gain one iron resource. Otherwise, each survivor gains a d10. The lowest scoring survivor becomes a straggler. The straggler stoops to gaze into the depths and refuses to stop staring. When the other survivors drag them away, they babble incoherently. Whether they saw change, whatever they saw, changed them forever, and they gain a random disorder. 
If all survivors end up as stragglers, no one ever pulls them away and they are lost. Right. So, who's going the crazy? Rick. Mirren. Fiona. And Astrid. Rick is looking. What happens to Rick? Rick. Uh, gains a random disorder. Crazy, crazy Rick has Rageaholic. Your rage boils out of control, causing you to see red at the slightest provocation. Whenever you suffer a severe injury, also suffer the frenzy brain trauma. So Rick is our sword uh, or our axe and shield wielding berserker. Okay, so... Rage-a-holic. Good job he's got plenty of armour. Shame he's got plenty of survival. But there you go. Uh, so they all can move up. And finally, Astrid will move on. And we have... A Fateful Feather. The survivors pass a ruined settlement. At its centre, an altar holds a lustrous feather. Its glow illuminates the ghostly image of frozen worshippers. If each survivor rolls a d10, the lowest scoring survivor, roll off in case of ties, becomes a straggler. The straggler cannot resist grasping the feather. The straggler, straggler instantly forgets the sum of their life. Set the survivor's weapon proficiency and hunt XP to zero. The survivor may gain the benefit of age again. Remove all disorders and fighting arts. Gain one tail feather phoenix resource. If any survivor has the hours ring, we don't. Right. Uh, was it random? It was, wasn't it? Uh, roll a d10, the lowest. Right. Uh, Rick. Nine. Mirian. Four. Fiona. Six. Astrid. Five. Mirian, it is. Oh, crazy Mirian. Right, so. Forget their life. Return their weapon proficiency and hunt XP to zero. So he loses his spear affinity. And he loses his hunt XP. Uh, remove disorders and fighting arts. So he loses the orator of death and loses what's it, disorders. Yeah, loses his weak spot that he's just gained and his nervous tick that makes him noisy. Uh, remove all disorders, fighting arts. Gain one tail feather. Yeah, uh, resources. Phoenix High Tail Feather. Lighter than air. So we did that. Everybody moves up. And they will catch him. So that's that done. That's that done. So we put our gear together. We traded in some fossilized something or other for a very heavy steel shield. Um, Rick went kind of crazy and angry and this, I'm guessing he suffered some sort of burst of gamma radiation. Um, Mirian has been reborn and forgotten everything about who he is or was um, or what he's doing but still remains having ludicrously high strength so uh, he'll do his thing and nothing's really happened to Astrid she's just ticking along right and now we get to fight the Phoenix thanks for watching this one if you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up 
on the video. Feel free to share uh, the video on social media channels. Put it out there. Speaking of social media, follow me at super underscore hamster on Twitter, which is where I post all of my updates telling people that um, I put another video out. And of course, if you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the little hamster down here or the subscribe button and help me take over YouTube one subscriber at a time. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye for now.